Hi, Alia. Good evening. Hello, sir. Um, so let's wait before we go any further. You're the only person here, and clearly you don't have any issues. I know that there is a meeting going on now for persons who are having and all of that. So I think some of those persons might be there. Okay, sir. So let's wait before we go any further, okay? Okay. All right.
good evening, good evening, everyone. Um, teacher, I'm just joining. Um, if you're hearing me, could you fill me in on what is presently happening? If it is that we are waiting or you have already started.
All right, good evening, everybody. Um, I'm assuming that you, I'm seeing Alea, Natoya, and Roberto. I'm not sure if persons attended the session that was being held earlier for persons who are having issues with, you know, registration, score selection, activating your ECC email, stuff like that. All right, um, we are very few numbers today. We usually just do introductions, um, nothing major. And I, I don't know that I'll keep you for the entire period of time because I only have three of you know, and I would not want to get into any specific details um, in terms of even the course and in terms of you know course assessment and stuff like that. I'm not sure that I want to venture in that direction, no. Um, I'll just introduce myself and then I'll ask you to do the same. So my name is Robin Clark and I have been teaching academic writing. Well, I've been teaching quote unquote English from 2004 and teaching at the tertiary level since 2011, 2011. And I've been teaching academic writing ever since. I've been teaching it for a number of years. And I keep saying academic writing instead of communication one, because really what you're studying is academic writing, not communication. Communication is really a different discipline. Um, I have taught at the University of the West Indies for about seven, five or seven years, five to seven years, as a one in one year, a full time lecturer, and, and, and at other times, a junk lecturer teaching outside of academic writing, culture, and entertainment. I have also taught at the University of the Commonwealth Caribbean, UCC. I was there full time, well, I worked there a junk as a drunk faculty for a number of years and worked there full time for one year. And I supervised the academic writing there. I have taught also at IUC, I think it's International University of the Caribbean. I taught Introduction to Literatures in English, I think. Yeah, and I also taught Literatures in English at UCC as well. I, I don't think I taught academic writing at IUC, though I did. I have taught UTEC nurses academic writing as well at Excelsior, but they were in what is called a finishing program. So I've taught them as well. So I've been doing this quite a while. Outside of that, I'm the person in charge of marketing and communication at the college. Many of the emails that you see being sent to students, especially from the OMMC email address, they come from my office. We try to help you um, to give you as much information as is possible, I recommend that you check your student email, especially. There are some of the schools that have a WhatsApp number. So if you're in the School of Business, they actually have a WhatsApp number that you can use. So outside of communicating with them with, um, in terms of email, there, there's a WhatsApp number. I recommend that you also go on the internet um, to get information as well so that you're kept kept abreast of what is happening at the college. There are so many things happening. There are so many moving parts. There are so many opportunities for you as students. Um, there are so many things that you can get involved in. The course, I, as I said, I won't, I, don't, I won't get into any specificity in terms of the course, only to say that this course is supposed to help you to better write in other courses um, in, a, in, a, in a very academic way, because it's, the nature of writing at the college or post-secondary level is very different from the high school level and very different outside of the academy. It's, it's a different kind of writing. Sometimes students struggle to really understand what is required of them. Um, hopefully, my evening students usually do very well. They, over, over the weeks that I engage them, they usually get it eventually. And when I get them, if and when I get them for um, business communication, they usually excel because they travel over, go over into that course, understanding the rules of engagement in terms of writing, and they just use, they just apply those particular skills in other courses. So as I said before, this course is really a quote unquote service course for the other courses for you to help you to better write or to be better writers. All right. Um, I'm going to just ask persons to introduce yourself. But what you're going to do for me, you're going to find an image that reflects your personality. 
So you're going to, I'm going to give you about 10 minutes or so to find an image, you know, uh, and when I say image, like a picture of something that reflects your, um, that reflects your personality and you're going to use that as the way to introduce yourself to everybody in the class. All right, so I'm going to give you about 10 minutes to look for an image that reflects who you are and then you're going to come back, introduce yourself. So you might say, my name is Robin Clark. Um, I've selected an image of a car or of whatever, of a flower or a pot or whatever it is. And I've selected this image because it reflects my da 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 da. X and Y, X and Y, all right? So I'll give you about 10 minutes to find an image that you can use to introduce yourself. And while you introduce yourself, so you give me your name, you give me your, um, tell me your name. If you're coming from a particular high school, that would be good. Um, if you are working, the nature of your job, and then you can say, for example, um, you know, why you are at Excelsior, and what is it that you hope to accomplish at the end of your journey at the college? All right, I, I hope I'm clear. Uh, I hope I'm very clear in terms of what I'm asking you to do. Everybody understands? Yes, sir, understood, understood. All right, so giving you 10 minutes now, um, and, and I want you to share screen to us as well, okay? So please try and, and use an instrument where you're able to share screen so that we can see what you are, the image or the picture that you have selected. All right. So your 10 minutes begin now, and I'm going to mute my mic.
Good evening, everyone. If you're uh, hold on, me. hold on, hold on, sir, Roberto. Just hold on. So you have to wait until I tell you to share, okay? Okay, I was doing trying to do so before reaching some noise because I'm traveling right now. All right, so go all right, go ahead then. Sorry about um go ahead without permission. Um name is Roberto Thompson. <clears throat> um this image I choose to use to describe myself um is very classic to me. Um as for the nature where um he's a determined and highly motivated individual to accomplish um his goal. I somewhat reflect with this image because of, you know, said nature of it. I am a working individual. Um, my work aligns somewhat with this image. I think you might get an understanding of that. My objective being at ECC is to acquire academic excellence one step at a time. My first step would have already Pass first, second, and third step would have already passed. So I consider myself at the fourth step, which is acquiring an associate degree. And I hope to observe and be able to use what I have learned here. Um, my head is not that tough. However, you know, coming into a new environment, things might seem a bit challenging and difficult at times. I consider myself a sponge when it comes down to learning. So, um, Sir Clark, you are the, the potter, I am the clay. Please to mold me in the best way possible going forward with this um, communication task or academic writing as you have described it. If I have missed anything, you know, you can just notify me so I can fill you in while the others are still getting you know, their stuff together. Yeah. All right, thank you very much, um, Roberto. I, you didn't miss anything. Um, so thanks for that very class, as you said, classic or cla yeah, classic um, or classical image, quote unquote, of Rambo. Um, I think most of us who are in my age group, who were born in the 80s, would have been raised on movies that he was in. Um, so thanks for that. And you didn't miss anything really. It's everybody's just at the time at, uh, at this point in time has been asked to introduce himself or herself. Um, I'm happy that you kind of went ahead because I really want everybody to really speak and share the image. So we'll give the others at least eight minutes for them to introduce, introduce um, themselves. All right, so beginning now, um, so at 18 minutes after six, I'll ask Alea and Jashon to introduce themselves.
All right, um, so I'm gonna start with Alea. Go ahead for me. Hi everyone. My name is Alea Howard. I'm coming from the UWI. I will share discuss... a screen. Remember we said that you're supposed to share an image and all of that. You remember that part, um, Alea? Yes, yes, okay. correct. I'm a student from the UWI. I was studying history and archaeology and journalism. However, I took a gap year and now I'm back in the groove. My ultimate goal at ECC is to graduate with honors, hopefully. I currently work at the criminal records office and I chose a butterfly to describe my personality because I'm very free spirited and just like the colors of the butterfly, it describes the radiance of my personality. Like once I come in the room, I'm very happy, very chirpy, always smiling and it's just very addictive to everybody else. They automatically have to be happy and cheerful no matter what their mood is. Thank right. you. Thank you very much, Miss Howard. Very nice. All right. Uh, next is Jashon Johnson. Go ahead for me. Jashon Johnson, are you there? Uh, not sure. The phone is there. Jashon Johnson once, twice. Not sure he's there. Um, Natoya, are you able to? I know you said you were on your way home. I'm not sure if you're able to. I don't think she's able to do that. I'm seeing a case here, Ferguson. Hi, case here. Hello, guys, you have to talk. When I take register, if you don't participate in the class, I mark you absent. No, it... hello. OK, hi. Good evening. I'm sorry about that. Good evening. Good evening. I'm just dawning due to circumstances beyond my control. OK. I was wondering, did I miss anything much? You're just going to introduce yourself. Tell us who you are. Um, tell us a little bit about yourself and why you're at ECC and what is it that you hope to accomplish? All right, so my name is Kesa Elizabeth Ferguson. All right, I'm very hardworking, outgoing, very honest, and I'm, a, well, I did say I'm hardworking, which means I'm a workaholic. Also, I am here to, well, let's say, uh, let me see, how can I phrase it? That ECC, I'll be a legend there. Mm -hmm. Yes, that's it right there. All right, thank you. Yes. Um, thanks, Casey. Is there anybody else? No. I'm not seeing anybody else. All right, so I'm going to give you um, a little activity. You know, let's see. In terms of critical thinking, where's your headspace? Okay. Um, I'm going to share a screen. Just give me one sec. So I want you to tell me. No. All right. So I want for you to tell me. And you probably need to write this down. This is just a, an activity. Um, I want to tell me why the song is titled Reparation. And you probably need to, as I said, write this down. Why the song is titled Reparation. For whom was the song written? For whom was the song written? Who wrote the song? Hmm. Who wrote the song? And what does the writer, or in this case, the lyric persona, 
hope to accomplish? All right, everybody has the questions. Can anybody, can one person repeat for me? All right, why was the song written? Who wrote it? And what the writer hoped to achieve from the song? Is that it? Why, what the writer hopes to accomplish by writing the song? So there's a difference between the why the song was written and, the, and what, what the writer hopes to accomplish. Okay? Okay. All right, so I'm going to play the song. I don't want any backup singers. I just mm -hmm. want you to listen very critically now. So we're, we're doing what is called critical listening. All right, so I know some persons are very familiar with the song, but we're looking at the song through a different lens. We're looking at it as, as what is called a text. So it is now a text for analysis, just like how you take, um, you analyze a poem or you analyze a literature book or, you know, a novel. So this is our text for today. All right, we're listening very carefully to answer these questions. As long as them, now I'm buying a gun, now support no war. Big up the man, them star from near and far. Them call it scam, me call it a reparation. Every get a youth is a star, yo, yo. so them want to live like one, one, one. Big up every scammer, we make you a dollar. Up the house for your mama. Western Union people fi give me more honor. Slash, full stop, comma. If we get all you for your live like Tony Montana. Presidential like Barack Obama. Pool in a house and playing in a hanger. Who said this scammer them wrong? No. Hungry, poverty, that more wronger. Better them do it than take up the mama. Remember the youth, them not squeeze chigger. I just chew them a nigga. Missa, Missa, you are the Prime Minister. College, me want to send me sister. You say education are the key. Me, I beg you not take me things up. As long as them, now I'm buying a gun. Now support the war. Big up the man, them stuff from near and far. Them call it scam. Me call it a reparation. Every get to you is a star. So they oh. want live like one, one, one. Me just want the youth them. No rap Jamaican. Don't buy gun fi kill man Foreign exchange is good fi the country Franklin, USA, Sterling, England Every ghetto youth fi a live like the big man Mansion bigger than Hilton, Winda And not everybody can run like Bolt Or sing like me or dance like Ding Dang Bang Book, I fi bigger than King Kong Benz like Radigan, Lincoln Fi dash two side like a swing song That's why me want live long Miss Am, Miss Am, you are the Prime Minister College, me want to send me sister. You say education are the key. Me a beg you not take me things so. up. All right, so I want I'm going to give you a few minutes. Let me share the link as well in the ch in the chat so that you can listen to it for yourself. Um, so I'm going to give you about let's give you about 10 minutes or so 10 to 15 minutes is actually the answers are not as obvious as they seem all right so don't say why is there giving me 10 15 minutes to do this this is so easy uh, um all right so thanks alia and um Kesa, they are sharing some of the questions in the chat that's very good thanks for that uh, you have so at 6 six forty, with that discussion, all right? And the link has been posted in the chat, so you can listen to it again with the lyrics, um, just to kind of critically understand what is being discussed, all right?
All right, so let's start the discussion. Um, let me open the floor. Anybody wants to tell me why the song is titled Preparation? I'm listening. Don't all rush to answer. All right. So, all right. So, reparation means the act of making amends for a wrong that someone has done. All right. So, I wouldn't say only in Jamaica, scamming is something that is seen as as wrong in in most persons' eyesight because that's using a lie, deception. You know, are are and being dishonest to gain something from an individual. So I guess in that song, I guess he's trying to make it seem as, you no, know, that would be answering what the writer hopes to accomplish. But basically, that's what I'm, I'm thinking that he's saying. And then because no guns are being fired or no one is being harmed, well, quote unquote, that's what they think. Just my thoughts. Okay, all right. Let's hear from the others. Anybody else? Why do you think the song is titled Reparation? Um, I think the song is titled Reparation because um, the lyrics of the song is based off the meaning of reparation, which as the student before said means to make amends for something that was done wrong. So I think that's why the song is titled Reparation. All right. Anybody else? Roberta, what says you? It's always good to hear a male's perspective. OK, sir. So the definition of, of reparation was already made mention earlier, so I need not go on that. However, I think the intended audience is the youth of Jamaica and you know, the diaspora, youth abroad, who are so inclined to, as they would call it, up to the time, chopping, scamming, or whichever suits you best. And the intention of the song is to identify by the singer, Vibes Cartel, who write and release the song in 2012, along with Vanessa Bling, is to, as I was saying, show that they see eye to eye with the intent of the youths to get back some possessions, money, values in their little corner, as long as you know they are not killing each other, buying guns, and promoting war. You know, so as he stated, big up the youth from near and far, that would say Jamaica and abroad. You know, so I think that pretty much um, sums it up. You know, when scamming um, became prevalent or open. You know, he draw his line or show where he stands with it, which was being okay with it as long as, you know, there wasn't any guns being purchased, any war being highlighted and such. That's my take, sir. All right. A very convoluted answer, though, because you actually, I asked you why the song was titled Reparation and you started answering the second question. And I'm pointing this out because you're going to find out in the course that you have to be very precise in terms of answering questions that are specifically asked. If I was marking okay. that paper, I would actually give you zero and just move on because you're giving me a convoluted answer. And normally, oh. yes, you should not give me a convoluted answer. I said, why is the song titled Reparation? And he went to the purpose of the song, which is my second question now. But I'm just, I'm just being difficult with this you, point. Roberta, no, as a way right. of just pointing out to everybody that um, you're going to find that academic writing now is a kind of different kind of discussion in terms of how you phrase your, your words, how you think about certain things, because sometimes superficially certain things are very obvious, but um, in terms of critical thinking and critical speaking, you're going to find that there is much more um, thought that needs to go into how you, quote unquote, analyze a text, in this case, a song. All right, um, so let me hear it. Why was this? Well, after, yes. Before um, we continue, I think there was a communication barrier. I was having poor calm signals based on where I was, as you can hear, there was a bit of hyperventilation to reach Wi Fi. Now, when I heard Roberto, I thought it was my turn to just give 
all the answers based on the question asked. Oh, so okay. Asked. Oh, yes, okay. So there was a communication barrier. Okay, but nonetheless, okay, okay. I'll just I'll just call my dear and move on smartly. So I'll just listen. <laughs> yes, 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 yes. Uh, no, no problem. No problem. <laughs> All right. I, I like the spirit, Roberta. That's the spirit. That's the spirit. All right. All right. Um, I don't think I've heard from Natalia in terms. Um, can you add why do you think the song was written? Natalia, is it Natalia? Are you saying it's Natalia? I'm not sure. I'm seeing Natalia on my screen. Um, can you say, Miss McIntosh, why the song was written? And I'm not hearing from just Sean. Not sure if the person is in the class or not. Anybody? Why was the song written? All right. So the angel has passed through the virtual room. The so I recommend, I'm not going to tell you the answers, you know, people say you have to talk. You have to talk. All right, so let me go again and take an next piece, even though it seems as though persons are afraid of zero, zero. Um, I think the song, well, this is my opinion. I think the song um, was written. So as I've said in my evoluted statement, to identify with the the scammers and to encourage them not to buy a gun and cause war, you know, just to take back what was taken from them during, you know, slavery. Mm -mm. Say that again. I said, I, I believe the song was written to identify with the scammers that it is okay to take back what was taken from them, you know, during, you know, any unfair treatment back then. So mm -hmm. as long as they're not buying any gun and creating any war, then that he's fine with that. The artist is fine with that. Okay. All right. Anybody agrees or disagrees with what Roberta just said? I think I heard some sort of a response. Well, I think Natoya says, I think the song was written to praise scammers. All right. That's Natoya's. Casey, you're about to say something. I was saying, all right, to say that uh, they would want to take back from that time, no. I I wouldn't say that. I was just thinking that for some persons, it's a means of employment. Mm -hmm. Are you talking about scamming generally or are you talking about within the context of the song? All right. Because remember, now we are analyzing the song. No, we know we're not talking about scamming generally. Because oh. remember, I, I premise my statement by saying we're looking at this song as a text. Okay. All right. All right. All right. Hold on. Somebody has answer soon. I'll soon be back. Excuse me, sir. I thought we were answering the question: Why is the song tied to the reparation? No, man. We move off. We move from oh, that. Oh, we've moved we're from at, that. We are okay. asked answering now. Why? Was the song written? Why was the song written? Right. Okay. I think the song was written to um, give a message to the listeners about reparation. Mm -hmm. About what they are doing wrong and what they need to give back as amends. Right? Mm -hmm. yes, that's what I think. All right, thanks, Miss Howard. Um, Jashon, I see your mic is unmuted. Are you about to say something? I'm not sure what is happening with Jashon. I can't say that he's in the class or she's in the class because I'm not hearing anything coming from the person. Um, what's the third question? What was the third question I asked? What the writer hopes to accomplish from the song. All right. So what the writer hopes to accomplish by writing this song. I am listening. All right. So my opinion. I think that he's just putting it out there to let them know that, well, scamming is not a bad thing as long as no one is dying. You know, are you know, no guns are being fired. No one is, you know, no one is being harmed. So, what he's saying is that 
in his eyesight, my opinion, once again, that there's nothing wrong with it. I could be wrong, but that's right. how I see it because he's saying that as long as they're, um, that no guns are being fired or no one is killed, you know, it's, it's okay. Okay. All right, yeah. thanks, Miss Ferguson. Anybody else? What does the writer hope to accomplish? We'll take a shot at this, sir. Uh, probably yeah. just to, to big up every scammer where we'll make US dollars. You're quoting from the song now, so you know that when you're when you're asked to answer a question from a text, if you quote by the same words, you get zero, right? Unless you're specifically asked to do so. You should never lift the it's called plagiarism. Unless you're told to specifically quote from the song, you're supposed to answer the question. Hey, you you want it in, in my own words. Right. Unless okay, you're well. specifically told to quote from this from the text, you're supposed to use your own words. Okay, so just so. said, I think the song was written to highlight poverty and the methods in which the minority has to achieve the life they deserve or dream of. All right. Yeah, go ahead, um, Roberto. I was just going to put it in my own words and say it's just paying um homage to the the, the, the scammers or persons who are so inclined to. To, to use that as a means of employment. All right. Um, anybody else wants to chime in? I think that he's hoping to um, make amends with the bigger heads, i.e. the government, mm -hmm. for them to know what it's like to be um, poor or to be living in poverty. And that is basically the same thing as what they are doing, but differently. Okay, all right. Um, what's the, I think that what's the, there is a last question, right? To whom is the writer speaking? All right, let's, let's hear it. Sorry, sir, the question was Everyone. for whom? For whom is the. Um... No, no, not for whom, to whom? To whom was the song written? Yes, that was the question. Mm -hmm. Or if you want to say for whom was it written? So someone said everyone? Yep. Yes. All right. So the persons in power, the persons so, in power or the rich. So I will say one thing about everyone. If you write everyone on any academic paper, you get zero again, all right? All right. Nothing, nothing is written for everyone because a five-year-old is everyone, a two-year-old is everyone, somebody who speaks French is everyone who doesn't understand the song. So the song cannot be written for everyone. All right, so I would say to the bigger heads, meaning right, the, the persons, heads. Yeah, persons in power, the government and what would I say? For, uh, yeah. And most, yeah. Yeah, that's it. All right. I'm seeing something from Natalia to every scammer or anyone that is thinking to become a scammer. All right. I just realized it's not just Sean, it's Yashika Bennett. Well, you need to write the correct name. Please write the correct name when you're signing into the class so that I can call the correct name. That's actually a proof a prerequisite. We will speak about netiquette next week. All right, so I'm going to pause here. Um, and when do I have you again? Let's see. I think it's Wednesday. Usually we don't go back to back. Yeah, let's see. It's Wednesday, sir. Yeah. Wednesday. All right. So I'll say this to you that only with the exception of one person that came close to the answer, none of your answers are correct. All right. None of your answers are correct. So for homework, I want you to go back, listen to the song, but I also want you to pause, the, just turn off the sound and just read the lyrics as a poem and try to make sense of it, all right? And we're, so I'm not gonna tell you, I'm not gonna discuss with you right now. I want for you to go back, listen, as well as read the text as a poem and then see, come back to me and tell me See if you have revised your responses. So one, I'll give you some hints. So one, you cannot say the song was written 
by Vibes Cartel. And what's her name? Sheba, whatever her name is. Vanessa right? Bling. Vanessa Bling. So that's one. You can't tell me that that's the author. All right. So let's just say we didn't know who was Vibes Cartel or we didn't know who wrote the song. You would have to had to choose somebody. In other words, based on what the song is about, who could have written the song? You can't say Vibes Cartel. So one, if you don't know why the song is titled Reparation, you can't get any other answer correct. All right. I think the closest I got to the answer um, in one instance was when um, it is Roberta, when he spoke about the purpose or why the song was written. He came very close and he was, though somebody kind of made a comment, he was actually heading in the right direction. All right. So if you can take it from what Roberta said before um, and use that as your proxy for answering all the other questions, you'll be in good stead. If you don't, then you're going to be in trouble. All right. And this is a perfect baptism into academic writing. I'm introducing you to critical listening, critical thinking, and critical speaking. And I'll say to you too that when you're talking about any text, you're supposed to speak in academic language or in universal language, so that if a professor from Russia or a professor from the United States takes up your paper, he or she should still be able to mark your paper, read your paper and understand everything that is said because you have written in academic language, not in Jamaican Creole or in Jamaican parlance or Jamaican vernacular. You have written in Jamaican standard English, which is pretty much standard English all over the world with a few um, changes in terms of spelling. All right, so that's something to think about. I have another class at seven. I usually, usually we're supposed to end 10 minutes before. So it was very nice meeting you and I'll see you guys on Wednesday. Come back prepared to answer the questions in a far more critical way. Okay, guys? Okay, okay sir. All right, bye everybody. Bye. Bye.